Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to show you guys how to check a cylinder head flatness using a straight edge and a filler gauge. Before you check a cylinder head flatness, make sure it is worth resurfacing the cylinder head. Make sure there are no cracks on the cylinder head because if there are cracks, that cylinder head is useless. Before checking the cylinder head flatness, make sure to remove all the old head gasket material using a plastic scraper. And also, make sure to use brake cleaner afterward to clean it off. If you don't clean off the old head gasket material, this will create high spots and your reading will be inaccurate. So make sure to clean it off extremely well until the surface is pretty much shiny. If you're having a hard time removing the old head gasket material using a plastic scraper, you can use a razor blade and lay it on its side and go gently. Make sure to not scratch the uh, cylinder head because the cylinder head is made of aluminum and it is extremely easy to scratch it. So again, make sure to take your time. If you resurfaced your cylinder head before and you wonder if it's okay to resurface it again, it's going to depend. One thing you should always look for is the wear indicator. So the wear indicator, it could be anywhere on the cylinder head. Usually it's going to be on a corner like this or here, here and so on. And if you resurface your cylinder head too many times and this part starts to show up, that means you cannot resurface the cylinder head anymore because there's not much material left to remove. Now everything's okay, go ahead and get your filler gauge and look for 0.0015. This is going to be the sequence to check the cylinder head flatness. So that's going to be number one, number two, you're going to be going diagonal, and three, four, and five, you're going to go horizontal, the number six and seven, you're going to go vertical. So take your filler gauge and slide it underneath. Do not force it like that because you can actually bend the tip. So just go gently like this. Okay, do not force it. And if the filler gauge slides right under, then you know you have low spots. If the filler gauge slides under and it drags slightly like this, that is okay. But if you can slide the filler gauge all the way and it goes out to the other side like that, then again, you have low spots. So make sure to check the um, flatness going this way, then going this way, doing horizontal like this, then like this, then like this, and go vertical like this, and go vertical like that. So here's the first sequence. Go diagonal, go like this. That's a low spot. That's a low spot right there. And let's go to the other side. That side's fine. That side's okay. That side's okay. That side's fine. Number six. That side's fine. Let's go number. Let's go right here. Number seven. So, number one, there is a low spot. That's straight. Right there. So you can see the filler gauge is sliding all the way in. 
right there another low spot right there low spot so the cylinder head is warp and it needs to be resurfaced i hope you found this video useful as i will thank you for watching and subscribe to top five repairs